What's going on everybody? Welcome to Volume 9 of Triathlon Training. It is Easter Sunday. We're going to take you out for a run, check out the historic sites in Dillsburg, PA, and then also, uh, unfortunately, another down week. Wasn't the best week of training, but uh, what can you do? We'll keep on at it. So, all right, here we go. All right, it is Sunday Easter morning. I'm just uh, crushed my legs. I was out here working for hours and hours uh, cleaning up the koi pond here. Should probably see a couple of other videos out on the, my channel about uh, cleaning that pond out. I'm gonna do this one today and replace a uh, UV filter on uh, that pond there. So uh, this is just going to be easy long run. I don't know, six miles goal. We're going to go to downtown Dillsburg, see if we could see anything uh, interesting I could film for you or any Easter decorations. Let's uh, see how the house is. So, here we go. When you put your hand in my jacket, I'm thinking so irrational. You flew me international now. Spend hours reading the signals, but that's so unoriginal. What if we took this back to my house? Under all these lights, I gotta take a minute, take a minute, take a minute to calm down. But I feel like if I told you I was ready right this minute, do you think that it would turn you on? I just feel like you need to. If I told you I was ready right this minute, would you just run off and tell someone? Should I go and call up a taxi? We can make out for play in the backseat. Please tell me now how that all sounds. You can sleep in while I make breakfast, watch cartoons and talk about exits. And if you're happy, stick around. I just feel like this is worth the risk. I never felt a fire like this. If I told you I was ready about this minute, do you think that it would turn you around? If I told you I was ready right this minute, would you just run off and tell someone? I just feel like you need to right here, right now. We're running out of things to talk about. Right here, right now. I'm about to let the truth come out. If I told you I was ready right this minute. All right, here we go. Saturday morning. It is Zwift Big Spin Stage 3. Uh, I'm just going to do the lesser course. It's one of the New York courses, probably a 45-minute uh, ride, and then likely just do... Uh, I'm down on running mouse, so I'll just do a light brick on the treadmill. Uh, but what's motivating here again is just try to see if we get another prize. We got two of them last week, but uh, I'm going to try to get those special wheels. So. All right, here we go.
All right, two key takeaways from that bike ride before I get on, uh, do my uh, little brick here to get some miles in. Got up to level 50. It, it's, it's too easy to level up on Zwift now. I literally only bike in 20, 30 miles a week and uh, it's almost like every other week I'm bumping up a, a level. And then uh, put it up on the screen. It's the first time ever I got the anvil uh, power up. I didn't know what it was. Couldn't see nothing on the screen. Here it actually makes you heavier, so you only want to use it when you're going downhill. So, key takeaway. All right, let's, let's get running. Days of running this week just due to work travel had to go to Scranton and back a couple times and unfortunately next week I got to go to State College for a day and then I got to go back to Scranton for two more days so sort of in a rut here uh, my legs were fresh came tried to push a 5k and I was only like seven six seventeen pace or something so just uh, kind of a downer realizing you know, before I got sick I was a uh, sub six so now I can't get back so what does the data tell me I haven't had enough volume uh, to increase my volume to get better. Uh, also, it was cold again, so can't wait for the warmer weather. Had to run in uh, long pants and uh, gloves, hat and gloves. And then to one more other in interesting piece of data, I'll put it on the screen, just two of them. A characteristic whenever I am running slower at the 5K is my heart rate would only get up to 140. Assuming it's accurate, uh, I have a, a Garmin watch that measures uh, heart rate uh, through your pulse. Uh, I can't wear heart heart strap monitor because it uh, eats me away but uh, so whenever I go out and run slow or have a disappointing run I can't get my heart rate up it's only like uh, 140 beats per minute or something like that normally 158 to 162 is my race pace but then I went back and whenever I was running good this the sub six minute pace I was actually right at that 158 162 pace so might have something to do with getting up early in the morning, doing, uh, running, I ran five miles on the treadmill and then having to wait a little bit, uh, let my heart rate calm down, then go back outside. And I just wasn't able to get my heart rate up and, uh, and move fast. So I don't know. It's, so it's gotta be one of those things, but we'll keep on uh, trying and plugging away. All right. That concludes this week's video. Another one in the books. We'll keep on turning that uh, doorknob and I hope to see you back next week. Have a good one.